European Parliament members are about to investigate Germany over the conduct of its notorious youth office, the Jugendamt, which abducts children like this. Over the past four years, CBN News has brought you the stories of several German families persecuted by the Jugendamt, often because those families were homeschoolers. Children taken away in SWAT-style raids like Melissa Buzakros, others brought to financial ruin by huge fines, or parents simply thrown into jail. Many homeschoolers have already fled Germany. Last year, a U.S. judge granted political asylum to the Romaikas, a German homeschooling family. Homeschooler Heidi Schultz and her son Vakia have fled to France. This video shows the Jugendamt's abduction of Vakia in Berlin when he was only seven. <laughs> Vakia was taken away for three years. When a court finally returned him, Heidi and Vakia fled Germany because they knew the Jugendamt would be back. We left Germany to live in peace. In freedom and in peace. Are you worried that the Germans will tell the French to arrest you? I think it could happen. Germany's Jugendamt, or child office, is so powerful that to some Germans it seems to be above the state. It can take children from good families when it wants and ignore court rulings to return them. Philip Churchill, an American psychologist who has practiced in Germany for 10 years, says the Jugendamt cannot be compared to America's child protective services. I think Americans would be a bit shocked that so much power is turned over to this Jugendamt because they directly tell judges what to do or what decisions to make. You mentioned downstairs that in some cases they're allowed to lie. They do. Churchill means that the Jugendamt lies to judges in court proceedings. In the case of Thomas Peromka in the Hessen town of Idstein, the Jugendamt has defied six court orders and according to Peromka's lawyer, has lied at least 12 times in a court battle over Peromka's 24-year-old mentally disabled son, who a judge has ruled was kidnapped by the Jugendamt. It's not, it's not, wait a moment. What's going on here? It's not possible. I have, I have a court order? And they're taking my son away from me. German parliament member Klaus-Peter Vilsch told us he was stunned when he began to investigate the Peromka case and discovered that in Germany, which is supposed to be a nation under law, there is a rogue government agency that breaks the law with impunity. That this was uh, possible in Germany was really astonishing for me, and I'm still working on it. You're referring to the Jugendamt yeah. officials who are not essentially obeying the judge's order? Or the ruling? That's it. They're, they're doing against it. They just uh, made their own laws. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Amen. Why does the Jugendamt take children from good families and ignore the law? One theory is money. Critics of the Jugendamt say the system amounts to a government child trafficking network in which about 80 kids per day are seized from parents and funneled to children's homes and psychiatric care, with the overflow going to foster homes. They claim the system needs to continually take in more children to keep functioning. This ad in a German paper is looking for someone with good contacts who can find more children to send to their children's home. And what makes it even worse for the families who have been victimized by the Jugendamt is that at the end of the day, there is no mechanism to make the Jugendamt pay for what it has done to so many families. The European Parliament has received at least 120 petitions from German parents about the Jugendamt. European Parliament demands that Germany stop the abuses of the Jugendamt have been flatly refused. Next month, European Parliament member Philippe Boulan will lead a delegation to Germany to investigate a pattern of human rights violations by the Jugendamt. Boulan told us there is neither control of the Jugendamt nor an obligation to amend its errors. There are cases where the Jugendamt refuses to accept court decisions, and the law cannot impose anything on the Jugendamt. This is absurd. Then he added, if the violations of the law turn out to be true, we will put pressure on the German authorities to put an end to them immediately. Churchill, as an American psychologist in Germany, says the Jugendamt takes advantage of a German characteristic to not challenge authority. We are trained as Americans 
you criticize everything. And uh, Germans don't act that way generally. That's a general characteristic of, of them, this conformist routine, which got them into trouble in World War II. And as far as I'm concerned, it's still there. Heidi Schultz says she and her son are trapped in limbo. They can never go back to Germany and would likely be arrested if they try to flee the European Union for America. The worst thing are the, all the lies. The lies of the Jugendamt, the lies of the judge. And you are totally helpless against the lies. Vakia says he lives in constant fear the Jugendamt will find them in France. And Heidi says her college-aged daughters will also have to leave Germany, because once a family is in the Jugendamt sites, the next generation may also have their children taken away. I think it's a never-ending story. I know this uh, from other families. Uh, then they take away the children of their children and so on. They have ruined our lives, not only mine. I think the worst case is my son. He's phoning to other friends and he tells them I'm in prison. The German embassy in Washington said it could not answer our questions, but in the past has denied wrongdoing by the Jugendamt. Members of the European Parliament will go to Germany next month to conduct their own investigation. Dale Hurd, CBN News, in Idstein, Germany.